What's good everybody, how's it going? My name's Joss, welcome to my channel. Um, so, I'm actually filming on my phone today uh, because my camera, for some strange reason, is kaput. Just got my laptop fixed, so that's all good and fine, but as soon as I get my laptop fixed, obviously something else else kind of has to fucking happen so that you can't get on with stuff. I have got a shit ton of cassette tapes that I want to talk through today um, just because um, there's a bunch of them that were sent to me and there's a few that I purchased um, but I wanted to get through them all today because there are just some bands in here that you have to listen to or some releases that you have to check out. The first one is actually something that I'm listening to right now. And what I'm listening to is Undeath. Legions of a different kind. Um, this is such an unbelievable album. It's one of the ones that I'm listening to consistently at the moment. And it's actually one of the main inspirations between me and the other boys in a new death metal band project that I'm part of at the moment. Um, so obviously you can check the artwork out there without the, uh, the case fucking up on the glare front. It's just absolutely awesome. Legions of a Different Kind is genuinely one of my favorite albums to listen to at the moment. Recorded at Headroom in Philadelphia, uh, mixed and mastered by Ben Coulter, artwork by Matt Browning. The artwork by Matt is just absolutely awesome. Um, and then it's got this really cool kind of uh, another piece of artwork that just comes along with it as well. If you're looking for that kind of, I don't know, I call it, <laughs> it is brutal, but it's like fun death metal. Um, some of the riffs are, like, it's the same as um, Sangra Cinnabog, if, if that's how you pronounce it. Like, there's a lot of fun riffs in there, um, which I love. Next one, um, I actually purchased this one off of EMP, I want to say. I can't remember. Cannabis Corpse. It was a limited edition run of, um, of cassettes and check this cassette out. It looks super sick. It looks like it's made of like metal or Kevlar, like bulletproof material. Really, really sick. Um, I actually found Cannabis Corpse literally through Brendan Ellis, the guitar player from Black Dahlia Murder. I remember at one point he was playing live guitar for them. Um, and because of that, I checked them out. And then after that, I absolutely adored them. And it's as you would expect, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Cannibal Corpse style death metal. Um, but all they sing about and lyrical content is about, is about growing um, weed, basically growing and smoking it or it growing and then it killing you. Immortal Pipes, Blaze of Torment, Sworn to the Bag. Where the Kind Lives, Gateways to Inhalation, Slave to the Cron. You kind of get the idea sort of thing there. Okay, next up was a gift. So this is um, Inoculations Anatomize release. Oh, I'll take it out so you can kind of check it out. Um, comes on this really cool white cassette there. Um, I just wanted to show you the artwork. Really simple J card, but I wanted to show you the artwork without the glare. Anything with, as you know me, anything with alien sort of stuff going on, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, this being one of the first kind of releases from these guys, it has everything that I still want in it. It's still got the, um, the really good production, which I am a fan of. I have to say, I'm not a massive fan of the kind of dirty, rotten sort of production that um, bunches of bands use. I still listen to them, but I definitely prefer stuff with better production on it. But this is as you would expect, it's super heavy, brutal, technical kind of death metal with loads of sci-fi influence, basically. Um, and check out all of their new releases. But um, he sent me the cassette, the t-shirt, and um, a CD as well, which was very, very kind. So thank you so much, Tony, for that. Um, next two releases, I am just, they're reissues, and I'm just unbelievably happy that I have them in my possession now. Um, they came out on 20 bucks spin, and I got them through Drycroft Records here in the UK. Um, the first one is Manner of Infinite Forms uh, by Tomb Mold. Um, once again, if you know me, I'm a massive fan of Tomb Mold. Um, Tomb Mold, once again, have this whole sci-fi kind of 
alien future sort of vibe about them as well. Um, so what you do get is you get the J card with loads of art on it, but on the opposite side you get the full piece, which is just absolutely glorious. Um, and I believe that this is the same guy who's just done the worm artwork. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is anyway. Um, and that was actually the second album that I heard from them. The first album that I heard from them was um, Planetary Clairvoyance, which is by far probably one of my favorite death metal albums ever. Um, if I'm stuck on what I want to listen to, this is what I listen to all the time. I throw this on. And once again, they've done the coolest thing. They've got the J card with the band and a little bit of the artwork, and then you get the full piece, which is just absolutely fucking amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. Um, so I listen to this album nine times out of 10 if I'm stuck on what I want to listen to. It always delivers this and one other album that I will show you um, next. Um, but so, so happy to finally have both releases, uh, the reissues um, of the two Mold albums through 20 bucks spin. So, absolutely pumped. So these next two, and then including the third one, were once again were a gift, uh, which I am unbelievably over the moon about. The reason why I'm so over the moon about these pieces is for the pure fact that they were given to me by one of my favorite YouTubers, which is Melanie Loves Death Metal. If you have seen, I actually did, um, if you go to one of her newest videos, the intro music, which was recorded on this bad boy, my Vola signature guitar, um, that music at the beginning was recorded by me. Um, and as payment, she sent me, which I wasn't expecting, by the way, just to let you know, um, as payment for doing that, she sent me three cassettes and two of them are from my favorite band. Um, my favorite band obviously being Blood in, um, Incantation. I always say Blood Inoculation, Blood Incantation. The first one being Starspawn, which is this release here. Um, the artwork is absolutely incredible. Um, there's everything about this band I love. I love the fact that everything is to do with aliens and kind of conspiracy theories and, and all that sort of stuff. And then apart from that, um, I mean, it's a fucking beast of a J card as well. Look at that. You've got like the band playing live, you've got each member, you've got the artwork. And then on this side, you have just a bunch of other stuff, including the other piece of artwork, which I do have this on vinyl as well. And it comes with that artwork as something that I would like to frame. I have framed the other piece of artwork that came with it. Um, but yeah. Starspawn, if you're looking for that sci-fi infused classic kind of death metal with loads of ethereal space sort of vibes, then this band is 100% the band to go to if you want to check that out. And then probably my favorite death metal album along with some Nile stuff, my favorite death metal album ever, Hidden Histories of the Human Race. And it's just fucking amazing. It's amazing. This and the Tomb Mold album are the albums that I can listen to over and over again every day if I don't know what to throw on and I'm completely happy. And I love the fact that it comes in a slip case as well. So you've got black and white with the logo and on the back it says to contact blood incantation, just concentrate, which is a really, really cool little thing to do. Um, but it comes in a slip case and then obviously has the artwork that we obviously know and love. Um, and then on the cassette, it's a white cassette. And the one thing that I really like is that everything is written in like alien hieroglyphics. Um, so on the cassette as well, so nothing is actually understandable. Once again, we've got some artwork, some more artwork there. And you know what I'm really excited for? I know that the next Blood Incantation album is not going to be a death metal album. It's going to be like a ethereal space sort of record um and i'm unbelievably excited for that because i listen to a lot of devon townsend's kind of space ethereal sort of stuff so i'm really really excited for my favorite band to release something like that you know so the other gift that i got which i didn't have in my possession um which i really like is Gorophilia. I really like this. This album's really, really good, but I definitely prefer Severed Monolith, I do have to say. 
so there's the sick thing as well about this, and it's Gorophilia. It's just classic, unbelievably good death metal, unbelievably good riffs, and everything is sick. So the artwork is really, really cool. I really love Gorophilia's logo. Um, the artwork is really sick. I really like it. But, but for Severed Monolith, I mean, that's just perfect to me. Like, you can't actually get better than that logo, that, uh, that piece of art. It's just unbelievable. What an album as well. What an album. Right, this turned up yesterday, which I'm super pumped about. This is the new... Becrus. Homo homini brutus. <laughs> Look at that cover. That is the sickest cover ever. I love it. Absolutely amazing. And the cassette? Look at that. Slime toxic green cassette. Absolutely awesome. The best thing about this, if you guys don't know about this band, Beckers have absolutely no lyrics. There's no lyrical content whatsoever. He's basically just making Neanderthal brutish noises in the rhythmic pattern. So it actually sounds like he's saying words. Some of the riffs on this album are absolutely grade A premium beef marbled to perfection, um, which I, which is the reason why I bought it as a guitar player. Some of these riffs are just fucking unbelievably good. So check that out if you want some really, really good instrumentation on your death metal. Next up, Abhorrent Rapture by Witch Vomit. I finally have this on some form of physical. I've got, um, for fuck's sake. So what I do have as well is Poison Blood, which is just, was my first kind of release I'd ever heard. And you gotta check this out just while I have it out. The, the vinyl itself is such a sick looking record. I mean, look at that. As I said before, I'm not a fan of these printed or these marbled vinyls, I prefer just black, but that, when I saw it, I was pretty stoked on it because that's the first one that I've got where I'm just like, okay, well, that genuinely looks absolutely amazing. So I, I wanted um, Abhorrent Rapture for a long time, but as you can expect from which from it, everything everywhere, especially in the UK, was sold out, whether it was cassette, whether it was vinyl, whether I had to order from America, everything was sold out. Um, but luckily enough, uh, with 20 bucks spin reissuing, well not reissuing, just doing another pressing, Drykoff um, in the UK managed to get a bunch of new 20 bucks spin stuff, and I managed to actually grab a copy, which I was super pumped about. Um, because I love this record. This record is absolutely amazing. Definitely my favorite Witch Vomit album out of all of them, for shout. Final one, um, which I have been looking forward to owning for a long, long time. Actually, ever since I heard it, one of my favorite bands to listen to if I just want that unbelievably uncomfortable death doom sort of vibe. And lyrically and vocally, it is just all encompassing darkness. And that is fossilization with he whose name was long forgotten. Just unbelievable. What an unbelievable album. And it came on this really sick gold cassette as well. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just the darkest shit that you can get hold of. Um, the majority of the album is like tremolo picked riffage, um, but super slow, super gnarly. And the vocals, the vocalist of this band is just so good with his kind of, with, with just his vocals. They're just absolutely amazing. Um, so if you're looking for something that is kind of a feeling of putting a shroud of darkness over you, then check out Fossilization because it genuinely is amazing. Well, that's it. I just checked the time and it's 20 minutes, which I'll probably cut down, but um, I wanted to get through all the new stuff that I've got over the past month or so. Thank you very much for watching. As I said, if you've got any comments, leave them down below and I get to answer them as quickly as I can. And make sure to check out all of these releases because they're just, they're just all amazing. All right, cheers guys. Peace.